Hi, well, I have just purchased a Blackview uh, DR900S two-channel dash cam. There it is. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm a bit dark this time of night now, but uh, brand new 4K dash cam from Blackview came out on the 15th of this month, May, in uh, the UK. I received mine on Friday, and I've had some problems with it. I cannot get the Wi-Fi SSID to show to connect my phone to it. Well, I've managed to make a small workaround, but there's still definitely uh, a problem with it. So I'm just making this video to show you and Blackview what my problem is. So we'll go ahead and start it all up. I've not set the parking mode yet. It's just running on ignition. So there it's got power. I'll just wait for it to say everything it needs to say. Right, so that's up and running now. I've set this to turn the Wi-Fi on automatically. And as you can see by the uh, solid blue symbol on the side there, the Wi-Fi is on. Now, if I go and search for the uh, Wi-Fi here, it's not showing. Now, I've um, changed the default SSID, by the way, that will show up as BV900 when it finally shows up on here. But as you can see, it's refreshing itself and it's not showing, despite the fact that the Wi-Fi on there is on. So, the workaround. On the uh, Dashcam forums that I've visited, someone suggested there might be an issue with the cloud setup. Well, when I finally, uh, I took the micro SD card out, plugged it into my laptop using their Windows Viewer software, you can configure the settings for the dash cam through the SD card. It loads a config file onto the micro SD card, which then configures the dash cam. I changed the settings in there and I activated the cloud service, which wasn't currently active, and I put in a hotspot. So what I'm gonna do now is activate that hotspot So there we go, there's my hotspot details. So I've bung that in. And now we just have to wait and see when that shows up a connected device. Right, so there we've got, there's our connected device. Let's wait for the dash cam to confirm. There we go, cloud connected. And now, there we go, back view is connected. We show that there. So now, here's the clever thing. Now, if I go into the Wi-Fi settings, there's BV900. It will not show up until it's connected to the cloud. But now I can connect to that. See, no internet. Well, I'm, there's a surprise. It's on there, so that's fine. Dismiss that. And that might actually tell me the cloud's disconnected in a minute. But now if I open the app, the Wi-Fi will actually load up. Whereas until, there you go, cloud disconnected. Until you actually set the, get the cloud connected, on my camera, I don't think this is true of all of them, but on my camera, the SSID will not show until it is first connected to the cloud. And if you switch it off and switch it back on again, you have to go through that same process all over again. 
at least I've got the thing working. The video quality is absolutely excellent. I can't complain at that. It's just an absolute pig for this one to get the Wi-Fi working. Now, I don't know whether that's a hardware fault with the camera or whether it's a firmware fault. I've not seen anything else reported for this camera online regarding this issue and all the other options for previous cameras um, have been failing to connect when they can see the Wi-Fi SSID so I don't know it might just be I've got a dodgy camera or it could be a problem with the firmware it is firmware version 001 um, there are no new versions yet but then this camera has only been released and a lot of the test footage online is from previous versions of the camera until they finally sorted out the uh, night sensor so we will see where we go with this I'll be emailing this video off to Blackview as well as um, the, the sellers of my camera and see where we go from there but just for your information if you're struggling to get your dash cam to connect this might be a workaround for you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.